Stampers, Stampers, Card Makers. It's Jackie Ball Hayes from Clomp and Stampers. Today we're going to make a sip card. A sip card? What is that? It is one of my favorite ways to create quick and easy handmade cards. Sip stands for stamps, ink, and paper. That really is all you need to make fabulous cards. Sometimes we get so overwhelmed with so much stuff that we kind of get paralyzed and don't know what to do. So I like to bring it down, keep it simple with just stamps, ink, and paper. Now, I have a ton of tips to share with you today, not only for the stamps I'm using, but also three different ways to use note cards and envelopes because I use those a lot, especially for the SIP cards. So make sure you watch all the way to the end because you don't want to miss any of the fun tips we have today. So let's get right to stamping. I'm going to flip the camera down. Okay, like I said, we're doing a sip card. That means we have stamps, we have inks, I've got three colors plus black, and we have paper. And for this, we're using the note cards and envelopes. I love these because they come in a pack of 20. You get the card all scored already, plus the envelope. Now the finished size of this, it's a note card, so it's three and a half by five. So it's the perfect card just to send a quick little note or a nice and easy birthday card. Um, and it will go through the US Post Office. So sometimes I think if you get any smaller than this, it won't. This is also kind of the standard size for like if you buy thank you cards or little note cards like that. So it is a normal size card. Now we are using the Bottled and Happiness stamp set. This one's been around for a while. It's been well used, well loved, you can see that. But I have several tips that I wanna share with you today as I'm stamping with it. Um, hopefully I can show you something new. Now, we're gonna start out for this. The stamp set does have some greetings, but I wanted to do just a very generic thinking of you. So I'm using go-to greetings. This is kind of a go-to set because we've got just our basic generic greetings. And we're gonna start out, we've got the thinking of you. And I am going to put it down here towards that bottom corner, just like so. And we're gonna go ahead and with the bottled happiness, it is actually a two-step stamp. So this one has our flowers, okay? And then this one has our leaves. So I like to start out by stamping my flowers. Um, we're using fresh freesia today kind of a nice springy color. And we're gonna come down here to the bottom, let it come off the note card a little bit. There's those flowers. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip it around and get some over on this side as well. Now that's why I did stamp my greeting first, because I wanted to make sure you know that it fit once I was going to add my flowers. Now, because I always make sure I stamp the insides of my cards, you know, do I have that going right way? We want it to go that way. So those top flowers kind of point up. So we always like to do the inside. And I also always like to do the envelopes. We don't want naked envelopes going through the mail. So let's do all of the ones with the flower. Then we're going to switch over to this one with our leaves. Now this one, when I first got this quite a few years ago, it's been around for a while, it really bothered me that when I stamped it, it's not only the leaves, but it's also the flower centers. And I'm like, flower centers shouldn't be green. So what I do is I ink it up, and then without stamping it, I take a darker marker because I want it quite a bit darker. This is, I think, what, what did I grab? I don't even know anymore, Blackberry Bliss. And I'm just going right over that green. It's not gonna hurt that green at all. If you feel like it's picking up green, just scribble on your scrap paper. Um, but this is why, like if I did a yellow or, you know, a lighter color, then it would kind of get kind of muddy with that green that's on there. But this way, now when I stamp this, and you know, I think I did stamp this completely upside down. So we're going to turn this one upside down. The stamp, and I'm going to do this again on a second card. I've got a couple cards I'm going to make for you. Um, but it, when it goes with the bottle, you want everything going upward. On this one, it doesn't matter so much. Now, because I still have a little bit of that dark on there, I'm going to just kind of run it on my scrap paper. And then we're going to go ahead and for each one of these flowers, we're going to, or the leaves, to go on top of the flowers. We're going to do the same kind of thing here. Let's just use that dark color. And let's see, I guess we're going to have to go... Oh gosh, I have completely confused myself. Does this go this way? Um, 
it does. It matches up perfectly if you have it going the right way. Um, but I kind of, oh goodness, went, mm -hmm -hmm. okay, you know what? This one's just practice. It's all off. <laughs> we're we're going to nail it right on the inside. How's that? Um, and I've got some other ones to show you. You know, these two-step ones can be a little tricky. Um, like, which way do they go on top of each other? And the tip I found, like with this one, if you look at your stamp case, all the stamps are always pointed upward. So you can see this has this flower down at the bottom, the big one at the bottom. That's the way I put it on my block. Okay, you can see here... Um, you know, here's that bottom flower. So I know that's up. And then this one I put on the block up as well. So they'll always match. But, but I was getting a little kind of silly on this one and turning these flowers in all different directions without paying attention. And then I didn't know what was up. So there we go. That one's correct. Don't look at that one. And then let's do one more here. Um, I promise I'll show you the the good version of this one, but hopefully you're you're learning the tips here. Now for this one, we're just using that regular note card. I'm not using any layers, any additional card stock. Um, we are just stamping it. So there, we're gonna hold it. <laughs> there is a real simple note card. Now I want to bring in, let's bring in the pretty one. Let's just trade. <laughs> so now if you want to, you can real easily step this card up because but then you need a little bit more cardstock we're still sticking to stamps ink and paper but I like to take just a piece of basic white and we're going to stamp that exact same layout here we're going to put our words down here at the bottom see this is where I get to redeem myself right <laughs> and we're going to stamp our flowers here and then our flowers here. And then we're going to bring in our leaf. And I should also tell you, um, when you are using markers directly on your stamp, like I am here, make sure you're using a water-based marker. This is the Stampin' Write. Don't use your alcohol markers. Don't use Stampin' Blends um, because that is a permanent marker. And all it's going to do is permanently color your stamps. It's not going to come off the stamp um, like this one does. You know, this is kind of like just having a little mini um, ink pad because it's kind of, it's almost the same kind of ink that's in a marker as that's on these pads. Because we, so if we, um, with that blend, we, I, if I did this with the blend and I went to stamp it, all I'd get is the green. The blend would just completely stay on top of, um, it. Okay, so we've stamped the front. Now, because we're just dressing up our little note card a little bit, we are going to go ahead and add this to a piece of basic black. Um, now, measurements, I'm not real sure. What is this? Three, yeah, three. I think it's three by four and a quarter. No, three by four and a half. Um, if you go to my website, and I will have a link to the blog post down in the video description to take you right there. I will have pictures of all the cards that I'm making along with the recipe, all of the measurements and all the supplies and colors and so forth that I use. So you can hop over there, grab all that information if you would like to make these as well. Now you'll notice I just took that panel that I made, put the basic black behind it, and then I added it to the note card just like this one was made. So it's the same size, it's gonna go in that same envelope, but now I have just a little bit more to it. And all I did was add a little bit more paper. So we still use just stamps, ink, and paper. Now, one other idea that I have for using the note cards, um, if you wanna, you know, again, bring in some more paper, we're gonna go ahead and, yeah, let's stamp another one here. We're gonna hopefully, Hopefully all of these will turn out. And then, no, before we stamp it, I wanna show you what I'm gonna do. I think that'll make it easier for you. Because I already told you how much I like the size and I like using the note cards and envelopes and just, I like the size of the card. Um, unfortunately, you can't buy these envelopes all by themselves. They only come in the pack. So what I like to do 
is take my colored cardstock and make myself my own little note card. Okay, so it's the same size as this. I know it'll fit in the envelope. And then this piece, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut this down. Um, it is three and a half by five. So we're going to cut each panel down here to three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So I'm not wasting the note card. Um, you know, if I, so again, you know, I want the size, I want the envelope, but we're going to take the note card. And when we cut it like this, it's going to give me two pieces. One is going to go on the inside of my card and one's going to go um, on the outside. So now we can ink this up. Let's go ahead and do our magic here. We're going to do all the same thing. Um, and then by the time I'm done, you're going to know how to stamp these flowers. And then actually, after I finish this one, I have a whole nother one that I want to share with you that shows you how a really fun technique for adding the vase. So we'll do that one as well. So don't go away. Um, so once again, we're going to just color these like so and stamp them on here. Let's see, we're going to put that on there. Now I'm not going to finish this one. I'll finish it and have pictures on the website, but what's going to happen is this is going to layer and then I'm going to stamp on this one and put it inside and that's going to layer. And now I can use my regular size envelope. So I haven't wasted anything. Um, I have one here to show you. Now this was uh, fresh freezy. I think that I'm using. This is Highland Heather, but you can see I did that here. So Here's the two sides of that note card, made my own card base, and now it fits nicely in there, and I have a colored card base. So just another way that you can use your note cards. You can layer on them, you can cut them apart, or you can just use them plain. Now, I told you I have one other idea that I want to share with you with this stamp set, because I love this stamp set. And we're going to go ahead and fold our note card. But this time, we are going to use the little vase or jug or whatever you want to call it. And I have a fun technique to share with you. So let's go ahead and start out. We'll make this a birthday one. Um, and we're going to start by putting happy birthday up here at the top. And then for our vase, I'm also using the sketched plaid background stamp. Now you could do this with any stamp. It just has to be bigger than what the image that you're stamping. And I'm going to ink this up with balmy blue. And then I'm not stamping it yet. I'm going to bring it over here onto my clean stamp. I don't even have it on a block, um, but I'm going to stamp onto that. So it's got that fun plaid background. It pulls some of the ink off and then I can stamp on here and look at how cool that vase looks by using two stamps. And we'll show you the difference here, you know, rather than just a solid, solid vase. And then we can finish it off here. Let's get our flowers. Um, this is where you really want to make sure that you have them in the right direction here so that it fits real nicely on top of the vase there. Is that a vase, a vase, or a jug? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It holds our flowers. We'll, oh, goodness, that was the wrong one. Let's try that one more time. Let's ink this up. And I'll finish this one, and then I'll show you the finished product of this one as well. But again, I am just using, we're going straight onto those note cards. Um, just like so. Now look at how adorable that is for just a quick and easy birthday card. Now, of course, I'd put something on the inside, just stamp those flowers again, stamp the envelope, and then I'll show you. This was actually with Calypso Coral, but again, you can see the same idea. We've got our stamped envelope. We've stamped in the inside of it. And then this one, I just layered it with the basic white and the basic black. So you can see how easy it is to just step it up a little bit with a little bit more cardstock. Or we could go ahead and grab maybe some Calypso Coral or even some Granny Apple Green or even Balmy Blue would be pretty. Make our own card base and then just cut the note card apart. So I hope you enjoyed this video and all the little tips that we were sharing um, from putting markers on your stamp to get multiple color to double stamping. 
I'm using a background stamp to get some texture in there, and then three different ways to use those packaged note cards and envelopes. It's all about SIP stamping, stamp seek, ink, and paper. Keep it simple, make quick and easy cards, and bless people by popping them in the mail. So make sure to reach out to us if you have any questions. Check out my website, the blog post that goes with this. I'll have pictures of all of them, um, as well as a list of all the colors and all the cutting dimensions and everything that I used. So thanks for watching. We'll be stamping again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.